This is my first ever racing setup and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I built it. So this is basically everything or most of the racing setup. We have the racing chair, monitor stand, giant 45 inch monitor, and then here's all like the racing steering wheel, pedals, shifter, and then here is the PC. I haven't used this PC for so long, but it has an RTX 3090. So it will definitely run all the racing games I need really well. The first thing I'm gonna do though is set up the actual racing seat, which probably is gonna take me a couple hours. It actually was so much easier to build than I expected. And this is how it looks. I added the steering wheel and the pedals. And just to give you guys a little bit of a POV, this is kind of how it looks. So you of course have the pedals there, but sadly there isn't like a little space here for the actual shifter right over there. So I guess I'll just not use it for now. I can probably definitely buy a stand in the future, but this is sick and I love the white color. The only thing that's kind of weird is that it's really creased here because the chair was folded when it was like delivered, but hopefully that can, probably go away as time goes on because it won't be folded anymore but this looks so sick right now and i actually built it a lot quicker than i expected now all i have to build is this monitor stand to hold up this gigantic 45 inch monitor My room is super messy right now, but I finally finished building the frame and now all I have to do is lift this monitor, but it's super, super heavy and hopefully I like nothing bad happens when I try and attach it over here, but that's gonna be pretty hard because getting this monitor up here is definitely gonna be a challenge. Okay, this is literally the coolest and just the best thing I think I've ever built. I mean, dude, I wish you guys could see it in person. I'll give you guys like the best POV. When I am sitting here, I have the screen so close that, I mean, imagine a full-on car being here. You got your pedals over there. You got the steering wheel here. Dude, my camera lens is not even wide enough to capture this. This is so good. Like, this is literally better than VR almost. You guys have probably noticed how messy this room is, and I actually have to move it out of my studio because I actually want to keep this. Like, this is so cool. I'm going to move it into my bedroom because this is definitely going to become, like, more of a permanent thing. So, let me just move all this right now. Definitely these wheels down here will help a lot because moving this huge thing would have been so annoying. <laughs> This sim racing setup actually fits perfectly in my room. I didn't even measure it. I just completely winged it and it fits exactly into this corner. It actually looks so nice. And if you guys are thinking it could not get any better, this kind of wall is a little bit plain. So I got this and this thing is so sick. It's like an F1 Ferrari race car or something like that. I'm not hundred percent sure, but yeah, I'm going to put it right over there and it's just going to make the setup look so much better. I just added the poster and the setup looks so nice and nothing is even even turned on in the future i might add some rgb lights behind the monitor i think it looked pretty sick but for now this looks really really nice so i need to set everything up it's probably going to take me like at least half an hour to an hour because there's going to be a lot so after that i'll show the final montage All right, so I'm on Forza right now, and I actually did get this entire setup completely done. There are a lot of cables, but it wasn't too hard. The only thing is that I'm not gonna even lie, I probably spent at least three hours on this game before even recording this video. So these are not my first impressions at all, but when I tell you this is so different to anything, like any other driving game I've ever played, it's insane. A couple weeks ago, I actually did use this monitor on Forza, and it is definitely much better than any 20. 
27 inch monitor I've used because it just makes it a whole lot more realistic, especially in first person. It looks so sick in first person, especially when I usually move the monitor a whole lot closer to me. It makes it just like almost like it's almost VR at that point. This entire sim racing setup that you guys see over here is definitely not a budget one. I mean, everything here is pretty expensive, except maybe like the steering wheel and like the pedals. They're more in the cheaper end, believe it or not, for oh shoot. Ah. <laughs> like I mentioned earlier in this video, I've had most of this stuff for like about a month now, except the monitor stand and this chair. And the chair was not too cheap. I think it was around $350, $400 around there, but it actually is really, really comfortable, a lot more comfortable than I expected. And the monitor stand, I think it was around $120 and it does its job. It holds up monitors up to like 80 inches. I'm pretty sure everything will be linked down below, by the way. And I'm not a sim racing professional at all, which is why I'm on Forza instead of like a settle course so if you guys do sim racing you know what that is i'll probably have to download that soon but yeah for now though forza on this is so sick man it is so much better than before and just the first person driving is so nice bro it's like actually so good i bet some of you guys do have some sim racing setups so let me know like any recommendations you do have whether it's like a game i should play or just anything i should add to this setup again i was playing with a like a shifter over here so i might get a little stand just so i can actually add the shifter but for for now, I'm just shifting with the paddles and it's good enough, but this entire like gaming experience is so much better because this gaming chair and monitor makes it just so much more realistic because it's like an actual driving position compared to like how I was using an office chair and just keeping the monitor on a desk. It wasn't really realistic at all because you were just kind of sitting on an office chair and the pedals were right below you. And this entire driving position is a lot more realistic. Basically, the entire point of this video was to just make driving in Forza or just any kind of driving game as realistic as possible without actually using V. Are, and I definitely say I'm at least close to it. Like I, I basically nailed everything in my opinion. This is so much better than I used to have. And it's so much more fun. Like I mentioned, I've literally been playing this for already three hours and I'm still not bored of it. It's just so fun, bro. And the graphics on this thing are insane too. I'm on an RTX 3090 right now, but I might use my 4090 just so I can even get more epic uh, settings. But this is so good right now. Okay, I'm gonna get in a race real quick and let's see if I can actually get first place first try. It's probably gonna take me a couple tries to be honest dude i think that i actually think as i'm recording this the brakes broke like look i'm slamming on them and they're not working no way i wasn't even pressing it that hard how did it break it like works a little bit oh my gosh so i guess the setup is not perfect now bro i mean this pedal and driving and like steering wheel i have are kind of more on the budget side this middle thing is too stiff anyways i have to like smash it in yep it broke because it doesn't even it doesn't even detect it no way that's crazy at least i got it on video instead of when I was driving earlier. The accelerator is the only one that works. Okay, bro, nice. Okay, so that was quite the plot twist. I still can't really believe that it just broke like that while I was recording. I mean, everything else in the setup works perfectly fine. Like the PC, thankfully, like the monitor, all the new stuff I ordered, it's just the pedals are like bugging everything out. So these are what broke. I don't know what broke it, but I'm just assuming probably I was pressing it too hard, but like there's no way they, were, they could break that easily. I don't even have shoes on or anything. So it's not like, I'm pressing it that hard. I guess I'm just gonna have to order some new pedals and I might just get a new wheel while I'm at it because I can get like a custom Ferrari wheel or something and that will be really, really nice if I can just get like a custom F1 racing wheel because that would just make it really, really realistic. If you guys did watch all the way to the end of the video and you wanna see more kind of racing or sim racing videos just like this one, make sure you drop a quick sub or just let me know down below in the comments. YouTube recommends this video right here and yeah, that's about it. God bless.